Well done, brother. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Behind you! In Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. Ravenholm is a smaller, coastal, hillside industrial town near City 17. It features tight streets and alleyways sneaking in and around an old industrial complex. Some of these alleys lead to an Eastern Orthodox church, graveyard, and mineshaft. Elsewhere, it is connected to the power station that would become Black Mesa East. Ravenholm is deceptive, being much larger than what it might seem. Numerous apartment blocks are seen in the area, rail lines snake along its coast, an old mansion hides in the center, and the resistance base shore point sits at its docks. At some point prior to the events of Half-Life 2, Ravenholm was primarily inhabited by those escaping City 17. The Combine would eventually bombard the town with head crab canisters. This bombardment resulted in mass zombification and Black Mesa East had to sever their connection with the town. Father Grigori would end up being as one of the only survivors. The only other people in the Ravenholm area are resistance members at Shorepoint Base, seemingly at the town's docks. Sometime after these events, Gordon Freeman would pass through Ravenholm and the Combine would descend upon the rebels at Shorepoint. Gordon would survive in the nightmarish town and help push the Combine back before making his way along the coast. Ravenholm is identified in map files as Town. It is playable in the maps D1 underscore Town underscore 01 to D1 underscore Town underscore 05 and technically a little bit of D2 underscore Coast underscore 01. It can also be seen from a distance in the canal map D1 underscore Canal underscore 13 as well as D1 underscore Eli underscore 01. Interestingly, some of the hillside building models change between the two maps, with the ones in Eli underscore zero one being damaged and broken. D1 underscore town underscore zero five is the only Ravenholm map to feature G-Man sighting, and is the only one to feature the Combine as the primary enemy rather than headcrabs or zombies. It is the only town map to feature a 3D skybox as well. Ravenholm has a lot of oddities hidden away in its level geometry. D1 underscore town underscore zero one is a good place to start. Behind this house in this uphill alley has geometry remaining from one of the beta versions of the town. A basement seems to have been carved out under the floor in this corner building, and this building with the slanted roof has an elaborate but unfinished interior-like area. Both D1 underscore town underscore zero one and town underscore zero one A has a door sized portion of wall carved out. It would lead to this attic area if it was a door. In D1 underscore town underscore zero two, there appears to be unused geometry inside this greenish turquoise smokestack building behind this large wall. In D1 underscore town underscore zero two A, the mineshaft building and the church actually have duplicated architecture. As well, there seems to be a door-sized portion of the wall carved out here, suggesting we might have entered into the mineshaft slightly differently. If you combine all the town maps, you would see that the entirety of Ravenholm is really close together. For example, that out-of-bounds apartment building is actually right above where Shorepoint Base is. Here is some of Ravenholm in CSGO's branch of the engine. This includes newer textures and props, as well as the branch's newer lighting calculations. Now, what would it look like before the Combine? Before all this disaster?